Hey church, hope you're having a great day wherever you are. My name's Rachel from the Manchester Central Campus and I serve on the youth team and it is my um, honour today to get to share with you and bring some encouragement on the topic of my miracle. Um, so I'll just jump straight in but um, basically this my miracle isn't like a one hit, mo like one moment uh, standalone where something like changed but it's actually um, I think a longer miracle of just God's hand um, over my life and directing my steps. Um, so when I was at college studying my A-levels I um, didn't really know what I wanted to do uh, with my life like in terms of like career path and stuff like that. All my friends were applying to university and I really loved learning and I loved like studying. I was one of those actually like quite enjoyed doing the homework. Um, but yeah, I loved learning, but still there wasn't anything particular that I was getting excited about studying. Um, and so I was just a bit confused and didn't really know what, what my life was going to look like. And so um, I knew what something that did excite me was the church and being able to serve more was definitely something that I wanted to do. So I actually decided that I would take a gap year to do Audacious College. And then after that year, I would then go and study at university. Um, but my time on Audacious College really just transformed my thinking and gave me the foundations that I needed in order to grow closer to God. Um, and to just um, build my relationship with him more. Um, so as I began my um, journey on Audacious College, so that started, so I finished my A-levels in 2018, and then in the September, I started Audacious College. And I knew that if I wanted to go to university the following year, I'd have to start applying like in the September. So as this is kind of sinking in and I'm processing it, um, it's something that really worried me because I still didn't know what I wanted to do, still didn't know where to study or what to study. And it just consumed my thinking. I was anxious about it. I was panicking about it because I didn't want to make the wrong choice. Um, I visited Chester University because that's somewhere that I actually really liked. And I loved it. I loved everything about it. I loved the campus. I loved that there was a church in Chester of Audacious that I could have gone to. Um, but it um it still didn't sit right with me because I didn't actually know what I wanted to study and I didn't want to study just for the sake of studying um without a purpose. Um so one day um on my way to Audacious College in the September and I saw a big billboard for Chester University and immediately my stomach flipped and I started to feel anxious again. I was like, Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to make a decision soon. Um, and just felt that anxiety come up again. So, um, yeah, so we came past that billboard and then I started freaking out internally. Um, but the next day, or the follow, not the next day, the next week, sorry, um, I was on the same bus, same bus journey. And um, we, before we got to the billboard with the advertisement on, I actually pulled up um, up to a house and engraved on the brick of the house at this where the bus had stopped um was a, a scripture and it was ephesians it didn't actually have it written out but it had the verse which was ephesians um 2 8 to 10 and it's verse um 10 that stood out to me which says um for we are god's handiwork created in christ jesus to do good works good good works which god prepared in advance for us to do and um, this just gave me so much peace in knowing that God knew what I was going to do in my future and what my future would look like. So we've I've pulled up against this house. The billboard I know is just round the corner. And as we approach the billboard where the advertisement is for Chester University, it's torn down and it's not there anymore. As if I've made it up in my head. Um, and so it might sound silly, but in that moment I knew, okay, God's got this and God's got my future in his hands and even though I didn't know what my next steps was I knew that I just had to give it to God and just trust that he would order the way that I needed to go. So I didn't end up applying to university um, I didn't end up going to Chester I actually ended up doing a second year of Audacious College 
and then um, COVID hit in 2019. So I was so grateful to God that I didn't end up going to university because I would have been doing it all online and it wouldn't have been what I would have wanted it to be. Um, I then got an apprenticeship and God provided an amazing job for me at church, working in an admin role, um, which just really grew me and built my confidence again. Um, so I did that for two years and then I felt like it was the right time to uh, fully commit to studying God's word. And I felt like God was calling me to do Bible college um, as in like a full degree that I knew I always wanted to do a degree at some point, but just didn't know necessarily what field that would be in. And so I felt like God was saying it was time to fully do a bachelor's degree um, in theology, which I decided to do with Missio Day, which is the Bible College for Assemblies of God. Um, so I started that in September and funnily, funnily enough, it is accredited by Chester University. So I just think that just shows um, God's got a sense of humour, but just that God's hand was all over it. Um, and he knew that I wanted to study, he knew that that was in my heart, but also um, just his timing is everything. So church, I just really want to encourage you that maybe you're stepping into a new season or you're not sure what the next step is for you. Just want to encourage you that God's timing is everything. Pray into it and trust that God will order your steps in the way that they need to go. Um, so yeah, I hope this encouraged you and that you have an amazing day and rest of your week. See you soon, church.